Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. Recently, the Online Jewelry Academy posted a video called Silver Patina from Egg Yolk. And one of our subscribers, Pearl Blay, who is the beading gem at beadinggem.com, that's two G's together, she said that we could do that patination process better. In the video, I showed using the yolk from a hard boiled egg crumbled up and put into a Ziploc bag along with the silver item to patina it or to, to cause it to tarnish. And she pointed out that there's more hydrogen sulfide in the egg yolk or in the egg white rather than the egg yolk. So we're going to prove her right. I've set up a scientific experiment. What I've got here are four identical fumigation chambers, basically some Ziploc lids on glass units here with identical little ceramic ramekins. And I've got four identical silver pieces that have not been touched by human hands since they went into the tumbler. I've got eggs here, raw and hard boiled. Guess which one is the hard boiled egg, do you know? Whoops. Well, that one's hard boiled because it spins. That one isn't. So in case you get them mixed up on your tabletop, that's the test. Raw eggs won't spin. And over here I've got containers for capturing egg whites and egg yolks, and I've got a scale. So let's get started. That's my raw egg. We'll put it in here. All right, and then I could set the ramekin in and pick up one of the silver pieces and put it on top. And now that's not very scientific, so I'm going to take a break here and I'm going to weigh out the materials and put them into the containers and I'll be back to show you how we're going to set this experiment up. Okay, I've set everything up. Now there's approximately 45 grams or 1.6 ounces of egg yolk, egg white, and raw egg in these containers. Now this first one is empty because it's going to be our constant. So I'll carefully insert our little silver pieces into the containers, making sure that they don't make contact with any of the material inside. Now the last container, I've flipped the ramekin upside down so that there would be a minimal amount of egg material trapped underneath so that we would get the full effect. And you can see how I've chopped up the yolk and the white so that I've exposed as much surface area as possible. Okay, so let's close them up. Now, these are going to be exposed to the outdoor environment here in Southern California. And we're just going to set these outside and see what happens. This took two and a half hours. These containers weren't in the sun. It was actually cool out. The sun was setting. They're chilly. So, didn't even take the heat of the day. So let me show you the results. Let's start with the, con the control. So there was no material in here. It was just dead air. Nothing happened. Okay. This is the uncooked egg. There we go. Look, nothing happened. You got to cook the egg. All right, let's set that one aside. Now this is the egg yolk. Now it gave a slight patination to the material. And there you can see a very light tarnish to it. And now let's look at the whites. Wow. Now this one is very dark. So there we go. So now we know. If you don't have liver of sulfur and you want to put a patina on a silver object, the best way to do it is with egg whites. Be sure that your piece is clean before you put it into the fumigation chamber. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you can find all of the OJA's videos on our website at onlinejewelryacademy.com. 
And if you subscribe by clicking the button in the lower right, you'll always get notifications of new releases. And don't forget about following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.